everyone. Vicki Kelty here, welcoming you to yet another quick cultural combo. And I'm so excited to introduce today's guest, who we have right here. And she is a former student of mine who continues to expand her English skills probably forever, I would imagine, because she is just super into languages. And English is not the only language that she has added to her repertoire of language learning, but um, that's not actually what we're here to talk about today because our lovely guest is a published author and has won a number of awards in writing contests. And that, my friends, is what we will be chatting about. So, before I continue, I do want to let you know that you definitely must 100% check the description for all the links to our lovely guest's work. And without further ado, here is Jimena. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Vicky and all of our listeners and viewers. I'm so glad to be here on your YouTube channel and on your podcast podcast it's an honor to me to have been invited to participate and well, yeah that's me that Imagine. was an amazing description of what I do well I there was a lot more that I could have added and as I said in the description you can find out all of the other spectacular things because that was seriously just like a teeny tiny bit but <laughs> um yeah so we're gonna jump in on our topic today of Passion Project. And Jimena, tell us what's been your favorite piece of research that you've been doing and um, what made you choose this? Just tell us everything about it. Well, my favorite piece of research that I've done so far, it's related to the female voters of Moda del Cuervo, which is a village with me near to where I live, which is Quintana de la Orden. And it was an amazing project to do because uh, I have never faced a, a piece of research so huge as this one because it took me really? almost two years to finish it. It was actually like doing... Holy uh, guacamole. <laughs> that is a... Yeah, that's dedication. You must have been yeah. quite passionate about the topic to put so much time into it. Mm -hmm. I was, I was. And most especially because I was doing it for a contest as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> That is also motivating, is it not? <laughs> yes, I know, I know, of course. And um, yeah, I, I, as more as I dedicated time to the topic, I was more interested into it because the world of these female potters, it's actually incredible. Uh, and at first it was a bit hard for me to do it because there were no previous researches or previous pieces of work. So I had to investigate and crap oh my gosh, all over yeah. the internet and the libraries and the archives so that also helped me a lot to learn how to do a proper research project totally uh, because i i mean when i was young we would go to the encyclopedia in the library in the little card catalog to look through things and a lot of people nowadays are um like Google Wikipedia. So yeah. that's really cool that you were going deep into the <laughs> the old way of researching. <laughs> yeah, I the have best always, way. I have always loved Google things uh, as they all people do, and not to depend that much on the internet. So as I said, it was very very interesting for me. And now I'm proud to say that that research uh, had made me done a book, which I don't have here, sadly because I'm on my university, but don't forget to check out the description because the link to how to buy it will be there. And I yeah. would like to, to use this opportunity that you've given me, Vicky, to announce something very special. And <laughs> Oh, I wish I had like a, a little trumpet, but well, there you go. That was the trumpet. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> And it's that, uh, well, the book is right now only in Spanish, right? Because I've written it in Spanish and it's only in that language. But uh -huh. recently I have gotten a, I have got a publisher house. 
to do a translation of it into English. No way. Yeah. Gosh, I, I am just I'm so ecstatic. That's so exciting for you and for everybody because now they can read it in multiple languages. Yeah. This is like the best moment ever. I <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> um, they, do you know what the title is going to be in English or? Not yet. Not yet. I mean, we haven't yet decided to work on it. I think I can't even yeah. say the name of the Polish house yet because we want to keep uh, some, everything very secretly until the project yeah, yeah. announcement. Of course. But I wanted to, to not de- dismiss the, the, the opportunity to announce it to the whole community of viewers and listeners that you have. So yeah, oh uh, yeah. I'm I also, I, I also were, were speechless when I received the, the notice. Oh, I that bet. It was gonna be translated. I wasn't. I, I mean, it. I would have like fainted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be an amazing adventure for me to work on this translation and really. everything. So I'm very very happy. I'm very happy. Yeah, and I'm sure that your knowledge of English is just going to aid with that so much. <laughs> it's going to be amazing yeah. to see your work in English. I, I love listening to you. Well, listening. I do love listening to you speak in English, but I love reading your your um, English version of stuff. So I think oh, thank you. everybody's going to love love getting to hear both, both sides of the story, if you will. <laughs> and... When you were doing your research, did you um, did you have any big challenges that came up? I know that you said that it was difficult to. I mean, you were like the first one researching this this topic. Um, were there any other challenges that you faced with it? Well, finding the proper documents to do the research on was actually a quite hard challenge. But yeah. also I had to get some information directly from the people who were experts on that. And those were the female potters. So yeah. I had to do interviews to them. I had to then uh, write the information from the interviews and pass it to my computer, which was quite tiring. I also it, so is it a fiction work? Or nonfiction? What would you? Nonfiction, nonfiction. It's an essay. Nonfiction. Okay. 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 Nice. It's it's an essay. It's the first. I mean, you're it's like a, a journalist. Essay. Tell me everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first essay I've written, and I expect it not to be the last, because I have yeah. ideas in mind. Yeah. Uh, and do. You, um, how do you find writing nonfiction as versus fiction? Hmm. I think I like them both and I couldn't decide for any of them. Uh, it's <laughs> true that one day uh, a teacher of mine told me when I told her that I uh, that I am a, uh, that I am a writer of both fiction and not fiction, she told me, oh, but you're going to end writing more nonfiction in the end. You see, that it's going to be more important and i was like miss <laughs> meet i like them both i think i can i can balance uh but <laughs> that's my that's so your my passion time. is equally balanced between the two yeah yeah it is and i think that something very important or something that really matters to me when i'm writing nonfiction is that i try to put some fiction or some poetry into it. I like to write uh, my essays or even my uni projects with a bit of a uh, blink. And no. you got to sprinkle that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's something that I have like a, like a personal mark. So yeah, but I couldn't decide for any of them. <laughs> that That would be a tough decision because there's so much like so much out there to choose from so which 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 bling are you gonna add if you could just add one (laughs) I don't know I don't know how you would ever choose that and what part of the project was um your favorite like what did you enjoy the most or found the most rewarding what did I enjoy the most Mm. well 
while I was doing it, I think the part I enjoyed the most was uh, looking for the images to illustrate the essay and to choose from them because it gives a new whole world to the work I've done. And then I also enjoyed a lot doing the the glossary. Like I made a small dictionary of words the female potters oh use. And that, that. And as a student who studies Hispanic studies, which is language and literature, uh, made me feel very proud of myself. Yeah, I was going to say it's right up your alley. Oh, that's, <laughs> I love I I live for glossaries in books. So, um <laughs> Yeah, as a Stephen King fan, he likes to invent his own words in books. And so having a glossary is is essential. And he does have like this little dictionary that you can find online. So you can look up like, what is this word? I don't know. Is it because I don't know English or? Ah, oh, no, it's because it's invented. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Here's the definition for it. Yes, <laughs> love that addition. And do you have anything else to add about your research project i mean you already dropped the bombshell with your amazing news i don't know how you can top that but maybe maybe you'll think of anything well i have to say that something really interesting and related to english and to languages uh is that as i said before this research project was on its first to a contest it's to a contest named usury which also the users of your channel can look up to uh, which was the idea of it was to uh, help uh, young people to get interested into local history, right? So the idea was to write those investigations and those essays related to local topics of the, each participant. And the thing is that I won the second prize of that contest. <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. But not only winning that prize uh, made me travel to Prague in last uh, October to participate on a, how to call it on a summit with all of the young peers from all Europe, which was yeah. everything was in English, and I get to got to meet lots of people from different countries and talk with, about the other projects they have done, and it was. Amazing. I had no words to describe how incredible that summit was. Oh my gosh. I've been to Prague and I bet that that was just an absolute blast. What an experience. And the connections that you got to make with people because you're able to converse with them and share different stories and whatnot. I bet you have. I, I bet we could talk for hours about your experience <laughs> there in Prague. Oh, yeah, that's so great. Oh, congratulations on all of this. You have a round of applause from everybody listening and watching. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You you just must be, I don't know, on cloud nine with all of this stuff. And um, I just want to say thanks so much, Jimena, for coming and chatting with us today. And before we go, where can people find you if they wanted to? Do you have some socials that you hang around at that they could mm -hmm. find you on? Yep. I have Instagram. I have Twitter or X. I have Facebook. I have a YouTube channel. And I have my my Beacons that all. Uh, link. <laughs> my Beacons links. And everything would be on the description. Don't forget to check that. Okay. okay. We will make sure to do that. And um, don't leave too soon because we do have a second conversation coming up at the after show. But we also have a special guest who just came in. <laughs> Say hi, Gunther. And he apparently is very excited for the after show. And... You can only get access to that if you sign up for the private podcast. So if you want to hear what we'll be talking about in that, oh, you got to sign up. And that will be in the description along with all of Jimena's links so that you can check out the work that she has shared with us today and stay updated on the book translation. And um, yeah, so... I hope to hear hear from you 
uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll hear from you, but you'll hear from us. So I hope you come and check us out in the after show. And um, yeah, we're just going to continue our amazing conversation. So catch us in the after show. And until then, keep creating these connections through lovely conversations. See you in the after show. See you.